So here we are with the first question on diode equation or diode current equation. So the question is, it is given that the current flowing through a silicon diode at room temperature is 9 into 10 to the power minus 7 ampere when a large reverse voltage is applied across the diode. Okay. So when a large reverse voltage is applied across the diode, the current which flows through the diode is 9 into 10 to the power minus 7 ampere at room temperature. So calculate the diode current when a forward bias voltage of 0.4 volt will be applied. Uh, it has been mentioned to consider the ideality factor as 2. Okay, this. So now we have to solve it. So in order to solve it, first the most important thing here is the diode current equation. Okay. So the diode current equation, it can be written as I 0 to power P minus 1 okay so here this is reverse saturation current this is the applied voltage V then we have this eta ideality factor of the diode and Vt is the thermal voltage. So ideality factor it is 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon this these things we have discussed here the ideality factor is 2 because we have silicon diode. Vt is the thermal voltage which is generally it is taken as 26 millivolt which will be 0 0.026 volt and here I is the diode current the current flowing through the diode at a particular applied voltage. So here as forward bias voltage is given so it will be a forward current. So here the applied voltage is equal to 0 0.4 volt. So we have ideality factor, we have thermal voltage, we have applied voltage, but we don't have this reverse saturation current. Okay. So if you pay attention to this line, the first line of the question, the current flowing through the silicon diode at room temperature when a large reverse voltage is applied to it. Now the basic definition of reverse saturation current is that the current which flows through the diode when a large reverse bias voltage which means that the reverse bias voltage is much greater than the thermal voltage that at room temperature okay at room temperature when this condition is there large reverse bias voltage at room temperature the reverse current which flows through the diode is equal to the reverse saturation current this so here instead of directly saying that the reverse saturation current is 9 into 10 to the power minus 7 ampere it has been given indirectly okay it has been mentioned indirectly so the reverse saturation current here is equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 7 ampere because it has been mentioned so i've already discussed in the basic concepts related to diode current equation the meaning of all this uh, symbols and what do they stand for here also i have again uh, mentioned it. So here just we have to put the values and get the answer. 
So the tricky part here was to determine what the reverse saturation current was from the question. So the first line itself, it is giving us the value of the reverse saturation current. So here putting the values uh, here, the diode current will be equal to I0 9 into 10 to the power minus 7 ampere V the applied voltage which is 0 0.4 okay by ideality factor which is 2 here which is given into 0 0.026 volt and then minus 1. So if we calculate it, it will come the value as it is coming one point nine seven milliampere. Point nine seven milliampere. It is come one point nine seven into ten to the power minus three ampere, which is one point nine seven. This, this is the result. So here the basic, the tricky part of this question was this reverse saturation current. All the data it was given directly in the question that is the forward uh, volt bias voltage is this much, ideality factor is given, uh, we know that the thermal voltage is 26 millivolt. But in order to remember the definition of reverse saturation current and to understand the question that the first line itself from here to here, this is giving us the value of the reverse saturation current. Okay? This line itself is the definition of reverse saturation current. Okay? The reverse current which flows through a diode when the, when a large reverse bias voltage is applied to it at room temperature. Okay? So this is 9 into 10 power minus 7 ampere. So remaining was just very simple. We have to remember the equation, put the values and get the answer. Okay? So this is the uh, first question.